your opinion about this PS4 and that Johnson Foundation? Uh, How have you found it? I find it very helpful. Um, because it look happened to adjust to the situation as it is. Uh, and I realise that I aren't the only one. There's a lot of other people who have dementia and it's been helpful to learn how they have coped and it's nice to have the informal chats and you know, uh, talk to people and say how we feel and why. And we know there's nobody going to criticise you no matter what we say. And I think that's important that you can say what you feel without fear of contradiction or criticism. And so I like going to this group because I know that no matter what anybody says, that everyone's going to listen and take notice and nobody's going to make fool of you for saying what you think. And when you've got type of illness similar to dementia, it's very important to have backup. Um, but your family need that backup, and you can get that backup through Beth Johnson. And if Beth Johnson can't help you, they know a man who can. And that's important. Uh, I, I found for myself. It's it's, um, it's comforting to know I'm with people with the similar problems or at the further stage in the problems. And uh, I find it'll a big help to have that support and talking to other people about how they managing the problem of their illness, um, at stage it's in. And uh, I find the group meetings very helpful and they give me a bit more assertiveness in myself. And Beth Johnson has been a, a great support. Um, I couldn't wish for a, a better help support in the problems I have with the Alzheimer's and my memory um, differs. I believe and I, I, can, I think I can safely say that for the whole group. I personally have found out more about dementia through this group than through GPs and other organisations. Not only am I a lot wiser to the condition, I'm also uh, aware of the fact now that because there are so many different types and lot, different people suffer differently, I can actually cope with it better. On the same note, the organisation itself has been a uh, wonderful sport and it's actually made me uh, better in the way that I can actually talk about it. Before, I was scared to even talk about it or think about it. And I can, I can since I've, got, I've joined the organisation and been coming to the groups and meetings and whatever, and I've had home visit on numerous occasions, I actually feel that I can, I've got that confidence back and I can share things with others. I think the group itself knows more about it than my immediate family. And there are some things that I've shared within the group that I probably won't share with the family because I feel that it might be too much for them to handle. And not only that, because people on the group are also actually suffering from the same condition, they understand it better. And through that, the organization, in, in fact, is getting better, I believe. Coming here, do you feel that it's actually helped you in any way? Or do you feel yes, better about it? I do. Because when I'm on my own, I'm in a little box. That's what I am. But when I'm out of the, this box and with people, because I've always, I've always, all my life, liked to be with people, chatting and uh, and since I've, 
Well, I haven't done it on purpose, but I think it's acceptance. It's like it's like everything in the department of your life, and it, you know, uh, I've had, I've had to learn. Uh, even though the age I am, I've had to learn a lot of patience. Uh, not criticise, uh, and I try very hard to work on that, uh, but it does help, like John says, you know, uh, knowing that you're not on your own with this illness. Well, it isn't an illness. With, with whatever you're going through, you're not on your own with it. But there's there's help. Uh, I mean, I went through a stage where I couldn't care less. I thought, oh, buggery, I've had a good life, I'm not going to bother anymore. But I've gone past that now. And when I do things, I don't do them like I used to do with confidence, but up here, I keep on saying, you, you'll get there, you will. Um. We've got a new member to the group, Sue. Uh, I'd like Sue to introduce herself and tell her briefly how she was diagnosed. Hello, my name's Sue. Um, I was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's in May and I've come to this group um, through the suggestion of Betty, the Betty Beth Johnson Foundation um, for peer support. Um, I've been diagnosed, I've wanted to learn more about it. Um, I haven't told anyone outside of this group and the medical people about my condition because my feeling is that even though I acknowledge that I have Alzheimer's I do and I own it I don't want it to own me 